the unlucky luck of the luck. Little Tim was a very unfortunate luck pixie. How ironic. The being that had to give luck to the others had nothing of luck for the same one. Tim felt very unhappy, for he did not live in a magical forest surrounded by magical creatures to get lucky, but in a big city, in a hole that would have been in the back of a closet and facing an old den of mice. Little Tim had ended up there, many years ago, one day he decided to run away from home to explore the world. He grabbed the cord of a child's boot that was excursion with his parents and, when he wanted to account, he had ended up in an unknown house in the middle of an unknown city. Little Tim sought a hiding place as soon as he arrived, before the child realized his presence. It had been a long time, but Little Tim had not figured out how to get out of there. In the house there was a cat and whenever Tim saw the door of the room open and tried to leave, there was the cat, ready to snack anything that moved. Little Tim spent the day crying in silence, disgusted by his bad luck. The worst days were when he heard the boy laugh, who was glad for something. A few days the boy was happy because his parents had congratulated him for improving his notes. Other days he laughed because one Lucia had looked at him in such and such a way, other days he was happy because he had won a game of paddle or had improved his mark in athletics. One day, little Tim heard the boy talking to his parents. They were preparing a trip to the forest. Can we go where we went last time? Asked the boy. That forest gives me good luck. Little Tim got ready. He looked for the boots where he had come and hid clothes to jump to the laces in which the child put them. But when the boy put them on he discovered that they were no longer worth it, so he took out new ones he had prepared for when that happened. Do not. Do not. Cried Little Tim. What a bad luck. Little Tim had not realized he was screaming as he came out of hiding. When the child saw him, he said. Who you are? What are you doing here? I'm little Tim, a very unfortunate luck fella. I arrived in your boot a long time ago and today I thought to return the same way I came. Well. Exclaimed the boy. So it was true that lately I was having. Good luck. If I return you, will I stop having luck? No boy, said Tim. But if you do not trust, go without me. I will be miserable all my life. I do not want you to be sad, said the boy. Come, get in my backpack and I'll take you to the woods. The unlucky luck of chance when they reached the forest, little Tim discovered that his old house was buried under a large stone. Everyone was very happy to see little Tim, because they thought the worst. Tim told them the story. If I had not escaped at night I'd be sprayed under that stone, said little Tim. Well, you're lucky, lucky luck, said a fairy with violet wings. And that kid you've been so lucky to have brought you home makes you even more fortunate, said another lucky fella. Well, it's true, how lucky I was, said little Tim. I have saved myself and I have made a friend who has shown me his thanks by doing something good for me. Then the wise goblin intervened, and said. You see, little Tim, sometimes what looks like bad luck is really the best thing that could happen to you.